Mm. Pretty little black skin girl, pretty little diamond ring. Oh, Caribbean beauty, Caribbean cutie. Hey gems, welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the title of this video, I am going to share with you guys how I care for my baby bump. And by that, I mean what I'm doing right now to avoid getting additional stretch marks during this pregnancy. Um, I did get stretch marks when I was pregnant with my son, but I haven't so far gotten any additional stretch marks. And the one that I got when I was, the ones that I got when I was pregnant with my son, um, they're very light. I was able to lighten them as much as possible. So some people can't even notice them at first glance. You have to really look. But I'm trying to avoid getting more. So, so far I am going to share with you guys what I've been doing to um, try and avoid that. I hope you guys can hear me okay because I do have the fan running in the bathroom because it's hot in here. And pregnancy hot is hotter than normal hot, so I cannot turn off this fan in order to film this video. So I'm just gonna try and talk as loud as possible so that this video com comes out okay. So the first thing I wanna point out that I've been doing is drinking a lot of water. I am trying to drink at least a half gallon of water a day, and that's what's in this bottle, water. This is exactly a half gallon. Um, 64 ounces so I fill this and try and drink at least this full every day I believe that since I've been back home I've been drinking more than a half gallon because it's been so hot but um, drinking enough water and staying hydrated is very important because what you put in your body also affects your skin and drinking a lot of water helps to keep your skin hydrated also I've been using my mommy butter so if you don't know by now if you're new to my channel i do make and sell my own natural skincare products and my mommy butter i came up with the purpose of this was for women who are pregnant such as myself to use during their pregnancy to try and avoid to try avoiding getting stretch marks in the first place so all of the butters and oils in this mommy butter are for skin elasticity. It helps to improve, maintain your skin elasticity. So as your baby bump grows and your skin stretches, it avoids the possibility of getting stretch marks because it helps improve your skin elasticity. So if you want a more detailed explanation on how this butter works, go to my website, read the description underneath this product and you can find that out. But basically, it just helps improve your skin elasticity, and that is what helps avoid stretch marks. So I've been using this every day. I do not miss a day, okay, using this. I use it every day, sometimes more than two times a day, but I definitely use it every day after my shower. So I could say I faithfully use this twice a day, and as you can see, this jar is almost empty. I do have another jar, but I'm gonna finish this off first. So what's in here is kapuasu butter. That's the main ingredient. And kapuasu butter is great for skin elasticity, um, moisturizing the skin, keeping it hydrated, etc., And just helping to keep the skin firm. And that is what you want during this time because naturally your belly and your skin well, naturally your skin is going to stretch and you want it to be able to return to its natural state once you have your child. So the ingredients is on the jar, the ingredients is on my website. You can go and read it up for yourself. But yeah, I use this every day. Another thing I've been doing is exfoliating. So I made this body scrub for myself. I do not sell this. But I made it for myself just out of experimenting because I wanted to make a more gentle body scrub for my, for my baby bump instead of using um, sugar as an exfoliant because the grains are bigger. I used walnut shells and um, poppy seeds as well as dry rose petals and I just grind it up so that it comes out really it's not like a powder, but it's much finer. 
and I add that in here as well. Um, this is how it look and it's very soft. I've already exfoliated. I actually just got out the shower, so I've already exfoliated and it just makes my stomach feel so nice and moisturized and it also helps with the itching. That's another thing you want to try and avoid doing, scratching your baby bump when it itch. It's gonna itch regardless because like I said, your skin is stretching as your baby bump grows. So avoiding the scratching will help avoid stretch marks. When I was pregnant with my son, I did not care. I was miserable and I just scratched. And that is how I ended up getting stretch marks because I was just scratching, like unknowingly, because sometimes you're just laying down and you feel it itching and you just start scratching without even thinking like, yo, I'm gonna get stretch marks from this. So one of the things I've been doing to try and soothe the itchiness and so forth is exfoliating at least a couple times a week you don't have to do it often um well i don't have to do it often i do it a couple times a week sometimes even once a week it's not something i do every day so i drink a lot of water i moisturize daily using my mommy butter and i exfoliate quite frankly i use the butter all over my body i don't only use it on my baby bump I just use it as my moisturizer for my entire body and it's that great because you know it's not just made for the baby bump and when women are pregnant not only are our not only is our baby bump growing but you know we're gaining weight we're getting wider broader whatever you want to call it so I just to be on the safe side use it everywhere this is how the my belly is right now I am today I am 24 weeks and two days yeah I'm 24 weeks and two days this is how big my belly is I am carrying low so I try to focus more down here because I carried low with my son and I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera but this is where I got the stretch marks with my son on my lower abdomen area so i try to make sure i really focus down here as well as, as up here because i don't have any stretch marks up here at all and i'm trying to avoid getting them so yeah so all i do is take a decent amount of my body butter and i literally just i just massage my belly for a few couple minutes just just massage it in make sure I get it worked in really good and don't neglect any areas I even go down towards my hip because women get stretch marks on their hips as well I had some but I was able to get rid of them I had some really dark stretch marks here when I was pregnant with my son And this is just like a nice massage for the baby as well because every time I do this, I can feel the baby start to move and the baby just switch positions and I can feel literally right here. I don't know if that's the head, but something is literally right here just poking. But yeah, you just massage your baby bum. And you know, this is part of like just a self-care routine too. Like you just want to take care of your skin while you're going through all these changes. That's about it, it's nothing extreme, it's nothing complicated. All it takes is consistency. Drink your water to stay hydrated, moisturize every day, exfoliate a couple times a week. Do not scratch and you should be good. Um, not all women get stretch marks, more women, some women are more prone to stretch marks than others. I'm not gonna get into genetics and all of that, but you know, if you just take care of your skin and be mindful during this time, I do believe that you can avoid getting the stretch marks. However, if you do have them, if you do get them, embrace them. That's what I did. After I had my son, I, it made me feel a little uncomfortable because it was new. I've never had stretch marks before. And it took me a minute to wrap my head around it. But at the end of the day, it's like a beauty mark from bringing life into the world. So it's nothing to be afraid of, ashamed of, or anything. However, 
if you could avoid it and you want to avoid it, these are the steps that you could probably try and implement in your life to help avoid that. Because not only do pregnant women get stretch marks, but just women in general, just from the up and down weight gain and all of that, our body going through so many changes, hormonal stuff. So take care of your body, keep your skin moisturized, stay hydrated, and just embrace yourself, that's all. Anyways, I think that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, if you haven't already, I think my pregnancy update should already be uploaded. So go watch that video to get more details on how my pregnancy is going and what I have planned for my labor and delivery. So I wish everyone love, light, and prosperity. And you guys will see me in my next video. Peace. And you deserve it all. Oh, this is perfect. And it's the magic and everything you do. Isn't that nerds?